almost playing behind short. This hit the other way and deep. Dyson back to the wall and off the top of the wall. This will score two. Ishikawa at second base with a double. And the Pirates lead four to one. Well, we, we saw Ishikawa hit that same ball about three times in, uh, in Milwaukee. He kept driving the ball deep to left field and they're playing him real cheap here. Now, if you're playing deeper, Obviously, you're not going to catch this ball off the top of the wall, but you're back there earlier, so you have time to see, I'm not going to catch this. I'm going to lay off the wall and get the rebound. But when he's so shallow, he's got to go back there on the dead sprint and look where, look where he finally put the brakes on, right next to the wall. Ball bounces, comes off of him. Everybody scores. Ishikawa easily, easily gets into second base. Clint Hurdle wants uh, Phil Cuzzy and the umpire and crew here to at least discuss whether that ball could have been actually maybe he's thinking it hit a seat or something behind that fence but you see it hits the fence it doesn't go over it well that fan reached out maybe that's what he's talking about too is yeah, it worth I, I the replay he's, he's talking about the fan probably we're going to discuss it and maybe decide whether they want to at least take a look at it well, you know what i mean about playing yeah, shallow it doesn't you're playing shallow like that. I mean, it, you're playing your percentages. You're thinking, OK, I'm going to take away a little base hit, a little blooper in front. Of me. But when a ball is hit deep like that, it allows you to it, know. Yeah, it, I've got no chance. Right. He couldn't have caught that if he was playing deeper, but he wouldn't have been standing in such a bad spot when it did hit the fence. He would have recognized immediately that is going to be either a home run or off the top of the fence. He'd lay back in the grass a little bit. And, and at least save a run. Probably could have saved a run yeah. there, but Gerard Dyson taking a look at the big video board. There are pros and cons about playing a deep outfield or a shallow outfield. And that was an example of what happens sometimes you get burnt playing real shallow. Will Little, the third base umpire, and the crew chief there, Jerry Davis. Will Little on your left, number 93. Jerry Davis on your right. This is just a, a crew chief review. This is not a challenge. They just want to make Watch sure. Watch the guy reaching out. It might have touched his fingers, but he's reaching over the. He's reaching yeah. over the fence. I, I don't think they'll call it a home run. I don't think they'll change anything. Now, the only thing they could do is uh, send. Uh, yeah, back Cervelli to third. Back. Yeah, which would be bad. Yeah, wouldn't that be? Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Clint Hurdle comes out, asks them to review, and they send Cervelli back to third. Let's hope that's not what happens. But I, it's a possibility that it could have gone off that guy's fingertips as he was reaching over the fence. So everything, everything stays, stays as it is. Same, yeah. Ed Yost and uh, Rusty Kuntz checking with Jerry Davis. the base running and outfield instructor of course a former Pirates first base coach. Hair is not quite as red as it was. Is it? Yeah, it's blonde. A little redder wasn't it? Yeah, maybe maybe a bit. But now 